Hello and welcome into Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. We are here tonight to break into our 2020 Topps Chrome Hobby Box. It just so happened that this week I hit my 100th subscriber. And so we're going to say that in honor of hitting 100 subscribers, we're going to open this box. I was going to open this box anyhow, but happy coincidence. So glad to have you joining me here tonight at Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. If you like what you see, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, share with your friends, follow me on Instagram at Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. Would love to have you following along with all the great stuff here on the channel. I want to once again thank my friends over at Steel Family Cards last night. I was able to join them at their place and we opened up two mini boxes of Topps Museum. Got some really great legendary MLB players autographs. Um, that's Steel Family Cards, S-T-E-E-L-E, -E -E, Family Cards. They got all sorts of um, product that they open on their channel. A lot of fun over there for the whole family. Um, also want to mention my post from two nights ago when I did a little combination of um, an optic hanger pack and a Diamond Kings hanger box, for some reason, I had comments disabled. Um, I had noticed YouTube on my phone had kind of changed the way they did posts, and somehow I got comments disabled. So if you tried to leave a comment, I appreciate it. I think I've got it resolved. I figured it out today. So... I apologize. As you can see, I pulled this amazing lime green parallel Luis Robert out of that hanger value pack of 2020 Optic. I was pretty dang stoked about that. So without any further ado, let's get into our 2020 Topps Chrome. This is only the second product that I have actually purchased hobby a hobby box of. So far, I've got I've had Diamond Kings. I've purchased a few boxes of Diamond Kings Hobby because it's an affordable product. This product has the 2020 Chrome has taken off like a rocket. Um, I was talking to a buddy last year and looking at some of the prices from last year's Chrome. When the Hobby boxes came out last year, they were 100 bucks. These things are running at least around 300 now. I managed to jump and pre-order mine before things got a little crazy, and so I didn't pay that much but still it was uh it's the most i've ever paid for a hobby box let's just say that so that's okay i'm new to this whole hobby that's not meant to yeah so let's just go ahead and get into it each one of these boxes has two two chrome autograph cards per box um may re you know may have redemption cards if the if the pack's not there and then you've got 24 packs per box four cards per pack Packs with special inserts may contain only one or two cards. There's the sides. I took the plastic off. The back doesn't really have anything good in terms of odds or anything like that. That's all going to be on the pack. So it looks like we've had a few, a little bit of movement in here. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all doing well out there, staying healthy and safe and all that good stuff. Let's kind of set this up so it's kind of can be a nice little display kind of here in the background if we can actually even see it i can't really even see it that's all right you know what that's cool we are just going to pull out a stack at a time so we've got i'm thinking there's four there's four little sections there should be six packs per section and so we've got six here so let's just go ahead and get into it this way yeah, I know the cards are off the screen. I'm not tampering with them or anything. Um, so, yeah, we've got six packs, four cards in each pack. Really looking for this stuff in retail is hard to find. I end up breaking down and buying a little bit online. Um, and that should be arriving soon. But, yeah, I went yesterday before I went over to my friends at Steel Family. Um, I went to, was it four Targets and three Walmarts? and completely struck out in terms of Chrome. Managed to find one pack of Optic and a random couple packs of Top Series 2, so I snagged a couple of those because they were very affordable. So we've got Trevor Williams, Andrew Heaney. We've got a Chrome uh, Thor Noah Syndergaard. I believe this is called a, the Refractor. I, yeah, I should know more about this. And Seth Brown, rookie. So that's a cool card. I like that. 
It's not the X Fractor. Maybe uh, it doesn't say. I should really know that. My apologies. Anyhow, that's a cool card for the first pack. I will take it. I love getting um, inserts and stuff like this. If you're considering buying any of this, and you can actually find it either in retail or in um, in hobby, I mean, retail is probably a better better price in terms of cost per card. But um, yeah, it's just it's just a hard one to find. Brandon Lau, Mike Soroka. We've got another. Refractor, Maurizio Dubon, and so that's, yeah, it says Refractor, so there we go. And uh, Michael Conforto. These are really nice looking cards. Like I said, it's really just been the six last six, eight months that I've been back in the hobby, and so this is the first time I've ever purchased this product. Um, I really did like Optic, um, and I really like this too. D. Gordon, Brendan McKay, rookie. That's a nice one. Very cool. Austin Riley, 1985, throwback. I really like these. And a Vlad Jr. award winner cup. Very cool. Looking for, of course, the Luis Robert, Kyle Lewis. For me, my personal collection, I would love to find any, really any Cubs, but Anthony Rizzo would be amazing. He's my favorite player and the guy I collect for my personal collection. We've got Corey Kluber, Jose Urquide. Some of these cards have some scratching on them. Oh, and we got our first autograph. Jacob, wow, wags a pack from the Blue Jays. We've got a Luis Castillo. We'll set him there. That is our first autograph. It's a really nice looking card. I have no idea who he is. Um, he is a rookie for the Blue Jays. He's a pitcher, so a couple strikes there. Um, pitching rookies are not tend to not have hold the same value as hitters, but still, that's a nice looking card. Um. Let's ch born in 93, so all right, he's a little on the older side. Well, cool, it's still a rookie autograph. I'll take it. I uh, was hoping to get a little bit bigger of a name, and maybe our second one will still be nice, considering all things considered. Let's just say that. Elvis Andrews, David Peralta. We have a, and then at the back of the pack, we got a Christian Yelich. And then we have got a Refractor Freddie Freeman. It's a nice looking card. And our last card of that first pack, that first section. So car pack number six. Tommy Edmond. Tim Anderson, always get excited when you see that White Sox. We have got a Future Stars, Mike Tauchman from the Yankees. It's a nice looking card. They've color coordinated this, and I really like that. And a Nelson Cruz. All right, let's go to the next section, our next six packs. This is a 200 card set, so depending on how much you buy, you're probably going to get some dupes. Miguel Rojas, Oscar Mercado. We've got a Trevor Story. X, not an X Fractor. The, shoot. I should really know this. Prism, whatever. I'm not going to keep make it up. So, And a Max Kepler. Nice card. Really excited for um, later in the fall when Stadium Club Chrome comes out. Tops has introduced this, and they're actually doing Allen and Ginter in Chrome as well. Um, hopping on that Chrome bandwagon. 
Um, but Stadium Club is one of my favorite sets because I just think the photography is phenomenal. And so I'm really looking for that. Okay, we got Junior Fernandez, a nice future stars, Pete Alonzo. Very cool. John Means, Rookie Cup. And Brandon Belt from the Giants. So far, it's kind of been a little bit of a ho-hum box. we still got a ways to go, though. Not even halfway there. We've got Brian Reynolds. Justin Verlander, future Hall of Famer. We have got an Aristides Aquino 1985 throwback. That is a nice rookie card right there. And a Tony Gonsolin. So let's go ahead and put him here. I'll be sleeving those guys up when we're all done here. I don't want to waste your time watching me sleeve up cards. All right, this card, there's a card in here that looks a little beefy. So we might have something. I think it's our second autograph. So we're going to bring that back card to the front. We've got Scott Kingery. Mike Yastrzemski. Trent Grisham. And let's, let's see... I see gold. Who do we have? Junior Fernandez. Gold autographed rookie. This is numbered out of 50. All right. Well, weren't the auto weren't the autos we were really really hoping for, but a gold Numbered rookie is a nice development. There you go. So that should do it for our autographs, frankly. So let's hope we can get some cool parallels. Um, and maybe something else in here. I don't know. We've got Jacob deGrom, Sean Murphy. We have got a Paul Goldschmidt refractor. And Maurizio Dubon. All right. Keep on rolling. Hanser Alberto. Okay, this is... Oh, skipped a card. Oh, got a couple cards sticking together. Yu Chang. Haas of cards. Like that card. Very cool. We have got a Rogelio Armenteros negative card. I really like these cards. Now, am I f happy that it's an Astro? Not necessarily. And it's a picture I've never heard of, but... Still a very looking card, and these are hard to pull, so I won't complain too much. John Means uh, Rookie Cup. All right, next stack. So we are now halfway through our break tonight. I've pulled a few fun cards, nothing crazy spectacular. Still would love to see a Luis Robert or Robert or Robert, Robert whatever. Um, or Jordan, that would be fantastic. So we got Fernando Tatis Jr. That's a nice card. One of the best players in the game. Aaron Civale. Jose Altuve. Boo. Um, Alex Young. Sorry, my feelings towards the Astros, I don't keep them a secret very well. And I'm hitting my new stands. I'm, I got these new stands for my car, display cards that I'm not really feeling. I may have to go back to the old style. Max Scherzer. Jesus Luzardo, rookie. He's a good rookie. Scott Kingery, refractor. 
Nice. And a Manny Machado. The only cards I'll probably worry about sleeving up tonight besides these two autographs that we've already cracked is if I would get a Robert, Luis Robert <coughs> um, or somebody else like that. Miggy Cabrera, Javi Baez, I'll set him aside. A nice Christian Yelich, 85 throwback. Very cool. And a Brewstar Gratterall. When I ordered this from um, Steel City, I also pre or I, as part of the pre I pre ordered these, but as part of the order, I added um, a box of Big League, and so I'm looking forward to opening that as well. Buster Posey, Masahiro Tanaka with a big old scratch, and we've got a Mitch Keller Future Stars and a Jose Urania. see one I am excited about that last card we've got a Christian Walker Matt Thace Nikki Lopez refractor and a nice Nico Horner rookie I will definitely take that as a Cubs fan all right last pack of this stack then we've only got six packs left haven't pulled much in ways of colored parallels Jean Segura Logan Webb freshman flash Sheldon Noisy or Noose it's a cool card and a Jose Ramirez Okay, last stack. All right, let's go get some last stack magic going on. That would be fantastic. Robbie Ray, Max Muncy, Domingo Leba. And a Matt Chapman. If you find a card, if you see a card in here that you really, really like, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Well, we caught us a trout. That's cool. I'll take it. Um, yeah, leave a comment down below of what you think of this. Um, be love to hear from you. Austin Meadows. We've got a Seth Brown refractor and a Joey Votto. Four packs left. And if I missed anything, or if you remember the name of that car, that one refractor that I can't for the life of me remember what they're called. Actually, here are your odds. If you want to take a picture of that. It's a prism refractor. Okay. There we go. Prism refractor. All right. Um, I may have said that early on. I thought I was wrong. Oh, well. We have got Rogelio Armenteros, one of our, I think, yeah, that's the negative we got. Okay. Ronald Guzman, Rafael Devers, 85 throwback design. And a Lorenzo Kane. Nice. Nick Solak. Eric Hosmer. A Mariano Rivera um, die cut. Very cool. And a Heimer Candelario. Second to last pack. We are almost done. A 
little disappointed with the lack of color. Uh, Logan Allen, Jeff McNeil, Lucas Giolito. That's a cool card. It's a prism, or a refractor, excuse me, but I like the batter in the foreground. That's cool. And Josh Hader. All right, last pack magic. Let's hope so. This is going to be a disappointing box. I should have. I had actually toyed with the idea of flipping it because it's so much more expensive than what it was when I bought it, but decided not to. All right, we got four cards left. Let's see what we can get. Zach Gallen, a nice Dustin May rookie. A Bo Bichette fresh freshman flash. And finally, a Cody Bellinger. So, didn't hit really any of the big rookies that I had hoped. Jordan, Luis, um, we got a few nice things in here, but nothing spectacular. Dustin May, Bo Bichette, freshman, we didn't even get his rookie. Lucas Giolito, refractor, Mariano Rivera, Die cut, Seth Brown refractor, Mike Trout, Leba. Let's just Nico Horner. We'll just kind of scroll through these. <clears throat> so there you go. Would have liked to have gotten some of his base rookie base cars. Yeah. So there you go. This was kind of a ho hum box. Gotta say it. And then our two autos, rookie. These are both rookie autographs. Junior Fernandez, numbered out of 50, which is nice, that gold. And then Jacob Wagsback. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, from the Toronto Blue Jays. So, all right, well, there you go. That's the way it, the cookie crumbles sometimes. That's the way the ball roll bounces, whatever. Hope you're doing well out there. Hope you enjoyed it. Wasn't the greatest break ever, but you know what? That's okay. It's fun opening cards. That's why we do it. Um, so like I said, hope you're doing well out there, staying safe, staying healthy, be good to one another, be kind to one another, love one another. If you like what you see, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you following along. Otherwise we will see you next time here at Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. Take care folks.